Hi guys, thank you for coming back to my channel. I told you guys that I wanted to do some air fryer videos either on Friday or every other Friday. I wasn't quite sure how I'm gonna do this, but through December, I wanted to kind of just pick a certain kind of meal or a dessert to share with you guys that are super easy to do in your air fryer. And today we're gonna do a recipe that I tried once before in the air fryer and it's just a regular rotisserie chicken. And it's so easy and it ended up turning out really, really uh, juicy and everything. So I think you guys are really gonna like this recipe. It's so easy. Um, I know we've tried it in the crock pot before and it turned out really good too. The difference between using the crock pot or the Instant Pot, you could probably use that too, but um, the air fryer was more like a rotisserie style chicken versus um, in, the, in like a slow cooker, it's gonna just kind of fall off the bone. Um, this also is going to, but you're gonna have that crispy outer um area so this just seemed to cook really really fast it takes an hour to cook so you're gonna cook it 30 minutes on one side and then 30 minutes on the other side and it cooks up really quick and easy um very very fast very like i was saying in some of my other videos sometimes i don't like pull out my meat or pull out a, a a meal for that night like in time and I'm always kind of like stuck on what to make and with my air fryer and my instant pot I can kind of pull things out about an hour beforehand and get it cooked up and um, cooked really quick so tonight we're just gonna focus on the rotisserie chicken in the air fryer I do have the power XL 7-in-1 air fryer um, we've done hamburgers donuts um, croissant rolls with bananas that might be one of ours that we might try soon um, for you guys and then what else did we do we did pork chops in my unboxing one we did just regular chicken we've did french fries um, tater tots we've tried like everything this is just kind of I'm home with the kids all the time and we're able to just kind of pop things in here without the greasy um, alternative I guess you want to say with using uh, deep frying so this is just clean and um, healthier one of the things that you can do is brush lightly with oil if you would like and today though we are going to be using butter is usually what I put on my chicken whether I put it in the oven or put it in the crock pot. I usually just put a stick of butter on it and then some seasonings on top. Seriously guys, it is so easy. And for me, I don't really enjoy cooking. So even my kids can, you know, I can prepare it up to this point and then they can put a bunch of seasonings on it and then throw it in the air fryer, flip it over in 30 minutes and cook it for another 30 minutes and it's finished. Seriously guys, this is like, super super easy um i think a lot of people right now are kind of going out and purchasing these um they're kind of really like useful in many different ways if you don't feel like pulling out like a big you know your oversized like oiled container full of stuff that you just don't want to use for greasy meals this is your other alternative to a healthier cooking or a healthier like frying process so today i'm going to show you some of the things that i'm using and seriously it is just very basic so i'm just using garlic powder my salt and pepper we do use himalayan salt so if you're looking for a uh, a better salt alternative also use the Himalayan salt. Another great seasoning that I just found is the Tony Catcher's Original Corel seasoning, great on everything. This I think my husband got at Walmart, so you guys can try this out. It's kind of like a seasoning salt, I guess, in some ways. Um, it's just, we like it. And it says that you can use it pretty much on anything. So we're gonna use this tonight. A lot of times too, I use like paprika, garlic salt, um, I'm trying to think of some other ones, seasoning salt, like we just put a bunch of seasoning on our rotisserie, sometimes it's not the same, but tonight we're gonna focus on the 
Tony's seasoning salt, and then um, the garlic powder or salt and pepper. And then I already went ahead and cut up my butter into cubes, and I'm just gonna apply that on top of the chicken. So I'm gonna bring you guys along with me here. Here's my chicken here. All I'm going to do is just place all my, see I got them right here already cut up. I have my chicken already in the air fryer. If you can see, there's even extra room, so it fits nicely. This is just one of them small little uh, rotisserie chickens, not a huge full-size one, then I probably wouldn't be able to do it. Oh, another thing that we tried in here was pizza too. We've gotten the already made crust and we did that too. So if you guys are looking for any kind of better way of cooking things, this would be the way to go. Um, we really, really like it. So. All right, so this is usually what I do is just load it up with butter. I'm sure if you guys don't want that much butter, just don't add as much, or maybe just spray it down with any kind of like nonstick spray um, that you would like, olive oil, or anything else that you guys want to um, coat it with, I'm sure is gonna be perfectly fine. Um, and this is just how we like it, so it's up to you on what you want to do with that. I will leave you guys in the, or leave in the description kind of like a measurement of what you can do for your seasonings. But I'm just gonna kind of like lightly uh, sprinkle the garlic powder on. I'm going to put a bunch of salt on it. I'm gonna coat it a little bit with pepper. And as this cooks, the butter will melt and that's what's gonna help give you that crispy coating on the top. I'm also gonna put that seasoning salt on top. Just stick it right in the air fryer. I'm gonna cook it at 375 for a half an hour. Okay, so the half an hour is up and this is what the top part looks like. I'm gonna flip that over and cook it for another 30 minutes and then I'll be back. So here's what the chicken looks like after an hour in the air fryer. 30 minutes on both sides and then um, just serve it up with whatever size that you would like. And it is nice and crispy and still juicy on the inside. So it turned out pretty good. I hope you guys like this video today. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you guys don't miss out on some of the other videos that I will be making with my air fryer. Uh, the month of December, we're just going to kind of keep up with like holiday meals or simple quick meals to get you through the holidays and some extra treats, um, just quick treats at nighttime. The air fryer cooks them up really quick. So other than that, guys, I'll see you in the next one.